What is up guys, this is Jared Spalding here and today I want to just talk about why the value of, um, you know, dollar value of something really means nothing and honestly if you do base anything on dollar value then you know, your perception of value is wrong. Now of course when silver goes up in uh, the value of dollars it could mean that it's going up as a, you know, in value in general or it could just simply mean the dollar is going down. Now the way to tell if something's going up or down is not from the dollar alone. The dollar is a good baseline to use something, you know, but or to value something, but you're going to need more than just that. Because the dollar is not steady. That's the problem. There's inflation. And what's gonna happen is, you know, basically over time, the dollar gets more and more inflated. And it makes things look like they're going up in value. Now, to provide, you know, an example, the stock market since the 90s, honestly, has not, it looks like, you know, it's been doing better since then. But honestly, that price boom in the stock market was the best it's ever done due to the technology boom at the time. And even though it looks like it's gone up, if you compare it to other commodities, such as silver, it's actually gone down. You know, because of the fact that the dollar has actually just simply lost value more quickly than the, um... Uh, and your stock market has, so it looks like the stock market's going up in value. Now, you might be wondering, you know, if I can't even use the dollar to value things anymore, you know, what what can I use? You know, how do I value things? Now, the dollar, like I said, it's something to base stuff off of, but what you're going to do is simple. Now, if you want to find out how well a, one commodity is doing against another one, the way to do that is simple. You know, all you do is take both commodities and you look at how well they've done in comparison to the dollar because even you know no matter what happens to the dollar it's going to be the same for both commodities assuming that you're evaluating them under the same currency which you know that should be the case hopefully <laughs> and um, basically though what you're going to be doing then is let's say you know both commodities have gone up let's say one went up six percent and the one went up eight percent well then obviously the one commodity is doing better than the other that you can still kind of do you know that because of the fact that it's not like there's going to be more inflation for one com commodity than the other or something like that. So that still makes sense. If you're going to be basing you know, their value of how, off of how much they've both gone up during the same exact time period, then that's one thing. But in of itself, you know, one commodity might look like it's gaining value but really not be. So how can you tell if a commodity truly gained value? Well, let's say a commodity went up 25% over the past month, right? But the value of the dollar, you notice, is going down 28%. Well, really what probably happened was the commodity went down 25% and the value of the dollar went down, you know, 20 to 28%. And so really what it's going to be looking like is the commodity is doing better because of the fact that, you know, the, I'm sorry, I don't think that would, those numbers would exactly match up, but my point is that if the dollar goes down in value faster than, you know, the um, commodity goes down in value, that, yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. The commodity would be 3% up. I don't know why I just said that, but um, let's say the, the dollar went down 40% in value, and it looks like the commodity went up 20%. Okay, there we go. And really what happened was the the commodity, is if it doesn't go up more in value in percent than the dollar goes down, then the commodity is actually going down in value, you know. If a commodity went up 20%, but the dollar went down 40%, then the commodity actually went down 20% in value. Is that's the way it's going to work? I mean, you know, honestly, it is kind of a scary thought, you know, that inflation is so prevalent these days. But, I mean, at the end of the day, there's one simple solution, you know, invest in silver. And because silver is not going to experience that inflation, and silver is one of the commodities we're talking about here. And it is one of the, you know, best growing commodities and just most steady as well. You know, stuff like the stock market goes up and down a lot. Same with oil. But silver is very, very steady. You know, it might go down a little bit, but you shouldn't be buying just to sell anyway. You know, unless you're talking about newsmatic coins or stuff like that. If you're just investing in silver, you should be planning on hoarding it for the long run, in my opinion. And therefore, you should be good. Anyway, very fast video. But that is it for this one. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Peace, love, and much respect.